Good day and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your regular host, Egg. In today's edition, oh, why, who is pursuing me now? Where am I running to? Anyway, hey, how are you, my people? How are you all doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. As you can see, your girl is having a nice one. So, um, in today's edition, I'm gonna be talking, you know, before I forget, why will I even forget? Guess what happened to me the other day? Your girl was trying to like even have fun. Although I don't drink too much, and uh, I'm not trying to advertise alcohol here in this channel, but you know, I was trying to purchase some alcohol the other day. When I got to the store, guess what happened? I was embarrassed. Your girl was humiliated. I was embarrassed. I mean, I was embarrassed. When they look at me, oh, she was like, "You look like a teenager." And you need your ID card. I was like, really? You need my ID card? I look like a teenager. I said, okay, thanks for the compliments anyway. You know, it's the law, it's the culture, it's the system here in America that each and every one of us has to follow. Although I wasn't having my ID card that day, I tell you guys, I have to um, go back home and get my ID card. You know, I need to present this before I can buy alcohol, okay? This is how it is here. In America you have to provide it especially here in Tesla they are very strict about it and they don't play about it so if you are <laughs> planning to come to the US I'll tell you if you don't have ID card always maybe you're trying to come to the US or you're just kind of new never you go to the store trying to purchase alcohol without having your ID card because you're gonna be humiliated sometimes you even look oh they still ask for it for some reason I don't know so it's just the law and we have to obey the law because no one is above the law okay before I start though, today I'm going to be doing something different, something unique and you know, as a matter of fact, you know, in life, they always say, if you can't help, if you can't help them, at least don't give them pain, you know, if you can't help anybody, don't give them pain, you know, I always believe in that because as we live, we, we always have to uh, try to help one person, you know, try to help, it doesn't mean that it has to be money. There are different forms, you know, there are different ways you help people. It might be that, yeah, every day try to put someone, put smile on someone's face because you never know what that person is going through. You know, we all have our issues. Although sometimes we don't want to talk about it. That is true. We don't want to talk about it. I don't know what you're going through. You don't know what I'm going through. I mean, when we step out of our house, we you try to like put on a boot container. We you try to like be the nicest person because we don't know what each and every one of us is, I mean, is going through at that moment, you know. Don't put your anger, your vexation, whatever you are going through, don't put it on anyone, you know, because you can help them at that moment. At least don't give them pain. So it's just my, it's just my, it's just my belief, you know. Yeah, people always say that, like, whenever I am, I try to, uh, I try to, um, I mean, I always go with life and I'm always lively, I'm full with energy. That is just me because, I mean, it doesn't mean that I don't have my own pain, I don't have my own stress, I have it, but, I mean, at that point in time, I'm not thinking about it, you know, I just love people. When you watch my video when I was talking about extrovert, you will know the real me, because I was talking about that, some people might understand what it means, some people might not, well, I mean, you know what, how extrovert behave, they, they just love people, and they love to hang around people, they love, I mean, I mean, their energy, they get their energy from others, you know, that is it. And they also give out energy as well, you know, that is it. And if you can help people, at least don't give them pain. Don't give them pain in the sense that putting your own pain, add it to their own pain, you know, just, just try to cope with life. Understand that the moment you leave your home, leave your problem in the house, leave it in the house because you never know that. That thing you might be going through, but the moment you step out, the person out there might be the solution to your problem. So let's try to always put on that good countenance. I mean, that good look. And I mean, that welcoming look. Because each and us, our life matters. I mean, we don't have to let the stress consume us. You know, this is the egg show. And I love you all. Keep watching. Please don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, drop your comments, and your girl will get back to you guys. And if you want me to do any video, just let me know and I will do it for you. As before I forget, I people always say, yeah, I don't want to forget that part. I people always say, at least if you can't help them, at least they don't help them. You know, yeah, if you can't help them, if you can't help them, don't actually help them. 
because you don't know what they are going through. You don't know their situation. You don't know what they are going through. Believe me, you know, we all have our own issues. We all have our own problem. This is something that we all need to understand. Because I see people walk out of their door, walk out with their problem. When you live out of your house, leave your problem behind because you don't know that maybe the person who might help you will be out there. Because some people leave their house and move out with their problem. No, that is very, very wrong. You don't take your problem to places because you don't also know what those people are going through in their life. You know, this is something we have to understand. At least, if you can't help them, please don't help them. At least, each and every day, try to put a smile on someone's face. Try to make someone happy. Say something good about something. If you look at something, Always have something positive to say about that thing. Don't let negativity come first. Because, I mean, me as a person, I always see the first thing first. But I, I came to realize that a lot of people, when they are looking at things, they always see the negative thing first. Please, don't be that kind of a person. Be the person who always see the positive positivity in, in everything that, that is around you. In everything you see, in everything someone is doing. Always look at the good side. Always give them strength. Give them hope. At least... Don't help them. Don't help them. We are full of doing this. We've been doing this. Let's stop it. You know, this is your girl, your one and only. Keep watching. Keep watching. And I tell you, if you haven't subscribed, please go subscribe. If you haven't subscribed and you'll be watching me, and you'll be watching me, I tell you, you'll be missing. Because sometimes there might be an important video that you want to watch and you just miss it just because you haven't subscribed. And if you subscribe and you also hit that subscribe button, and if you hit that bell button, you won't be missing anything. And make sure you hit the one that says all. Oh. Please click on the one that says all oh, so that you won't be missing anything. I'm your girl, your one and only. On this platform, there are a lot of amazing things. I tell you, I'm your girl. Your girl is always there to put that smile on your faces. And I love you all. Bye bye.